Hi guys, um, Brian introduced me earlier, but I'll just give a long introduction. I'm the lead performance analyst for the Academy Down at Wasps. Uh, we look after everything from the senior Academy boys transitioning into the senior squad, all the way down to the 18s, the under 16s, the under 15s, then down to the DPP as well. I'm the right provision, right coaches of information, all the way over, just to give you a range of who we're working with. Um, just a quick little rundown because I sort of I see our analysis in two parts. Um, the part that Z Life surrounds me, but it's pretty much before me and now. That's why I was going to listen to. So I came to post in April 2015. Um, I was in quite a unique situation that the Academy hadn't had any analysis at all before that. Um, the analysis actually consisted of the Academy manager who a camera and an old laptop and he would film the games or try and get someone to film the games. From there they'd go to a, uh, into a review where James would put up a full game on screen and then flip for a quick time movie to different points to try and review the game. Um, and that's pretty much all on James. So if you imagine James coaching the Academy and then having to do the analysis the academy, that's quite a, quite a lot of pressure on James's shoulders. So when I came in, um, it was blank canvas, um, probably to be correct, that was said, uh, did we want? Uh, so I kind of ran with, the, ran with the idea of making our analysis program the best academy analysis program in the country. Um, and we pretty much started with no equipment, tripod, camera, and old laptop. Uh, the way we went about it, we tried to do absolutely everything we could, film every single training session, every single game, know exactly what every single player was doing at every single moment in time, trying to get footage of all their schools. Um, in hindsight, that was the wrong idea, because we covered so much in the first six months that actually the quality of what we were doing and the impact that I was having on the program was actually quite minor. We had a lot of footage, um, but actually not much impact. Uh, we then introduced my TPE. Uh, my TPE is an online platform. I'll come on to that in detail a bit later on. Um, introduced that to the program as more of a review uh, platform. Uh, we've now bought in NapSport, which is our new analysis software. We've got them as an official academy partner. Um, and now we're looking at things like player monitoring. Now we're starting to get some schools on board. For instance, Grant's very good with this footage. We get all of on CS's games, uh, we've got analysis down with Mills here at MTs, so Merchant Tailors, uh, and we're starting to get little games in all our schools, and they're slowly starting to drip in, and now because they're slowly dripping in, and we've actually got the people in place, that's actually having a huge impact on our program. Uh, and we also now have got the senior type of transition, so we get footage of every single Lone Club player, and it's out where they're at. Bedford, there was some down in Jersey last year, uh, Blackheath, there's some down in Hinkley this year, and we get footage from all of them, and then we are on in charge of providing that information up into the eye right at the top of the tree, so he can actually keep track of our program and the local producer. So our, our objectives and the way that we view it is it's very player based. And I think with analysis, there's, there's a bit of a continuum. You've got, you've got the, the numbers on one side, and you've got the people that will produce A4, Excel spreadsheets, with a million numbers on there, players' names, different codes. And then the other end, you've got the video aspect. And what we're trying to do is find the right balance that will impact our players the most and actually help our players develop. I think that over the period of time now, we're at a very good, a very good stage and it is almost certainly everything is about the video. So our aim is to provide pictures uh, to the players, get them to review the footage around their decision making, and actually seeing what they're doing, rather than giving them the coaches a sheet full of numbers and just saying, this is what happened. <coughs> the players aren't going to learn much from an A4 sheet full of numbers. So our three main objectives, uh, provide a comprehensive learning environment for the players, so when they come in, they play a game with them, surrounding them with that footage and that environment online with us and at home uh, where they can actually learn. Uh, our review process is 
it's still sort of a work in progress, but we're getting we're getting better with it. Uh, so it's about uh, coach to player reviews, but then also my TP really allows us to uh, to get the peer to peer reviews. So actually, the coaches are removed from the situation, which I'll show you later on. And the players are actually reviewed with themselves, and then. The final one is just uh, our transition from all the way DPP, our talent ID stuff on the 13s on the 14s level, then go all the way up to actually stand to die young. Here's footage from Tom House flipped to Jersey last year. Uh, actually him seeing it all out, so we're in charge of the whole trip. So this is just to give you a broad spectrum of everything. Can you see all right on that? Bad move. Don't get off. Just to show you exactly what we do, because as I said, when we started coming in, we gave everything to every single age group. And we tried to cover everybody with a full professional analysis set up. We then realised that actually that wasn't the way to go. So this is the way that our our, uh, our analysis is spread now. So you can see that as they get older, all the way through, they start getting more analysis provisions provided. So DVP they'll have no provision of them, their game's filled, and that's pretty much just for the coaches to review, reflect, and actually pick out individuals that they've, that they've uh, identified as having talent. Our 15s get a little bit more, they start getting their training sessions filled, they're on TV, they have all their games filled. And that goes all the way up. We're now providing uh, Henley College, who's our ACE College, with, uh, with having their games filmed and coded. So actually we have a large amount of academy players obviously down at our ACE College and they're getting that provision away from the Wasp Academy environment. Our EAPs, our England Academy players, will undoubtedly get the biggest analysis provision out of everybody. So we look at all their external footage when they're playing in the schools, when they're playing, uh, if they play at county, we try to county levels. Who will take their schools footage? In England Academy, we will take the schools for uh, Luckily, uh, we have a number of schools that automatically video their games, so then they provide us with the footage. Uh, we have got an intern who goes out and we film the various different schools as well. I go out and I can film schools. Well, basically, what we're trying to do this year is just try to provide help to anybody in our, in our three counties that needs provision with analysis. We go and try and help. Uh, I think it would be impossible to have every single school in our area up give every single footage of all of their games. That would just be a huge task and actually the amount of time we spend doing that and the impact it has, they actually outweighs it. But what we try and do is we try and get all of our EAP school footage. It might not be every week. You have certain situations where you don't have any information, so you have to come up with inventive ideas, get a rooftop, etc. You might have a tower, sometimes it works, sometimes it's broken. Um, and you can actually get the footage that way. And then our senior academy boys, uh, Gamesville, that's not actually us, EGIR, the championship, I can off all that, and we get those games from the premium. Um, as you can see, TPE is our online analysis tool, and that comes at under 15 level. So from under 15 all the way through, they have access to all our footage 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. Just to give you an overview of our process and actually how we work week to week when we're in our when we're in season. Um, I see the start point as our Monday night training sessions. So we'll film training sessions on the Monday night. Obviously, me and Tom, my assistant, will then cut that. We'll get different clips and we'll upload that to using Naxport on your analysis software then put it on the TV and that's when our review process starts. So the reason this is all things on top double sided is because TP is really good at actually just facilitating a conversation without us having to facilitate it. So we'll put a video up, I'll show you later, we'll put a video up, the coaches will go on there, Matt will go on there, Ian will go on there, James will go on there and then they actually start a conversation. It might be a question and then all the players firing underneath and then they all start discussing amongst themselves. So that's what will happen after training. Then we then go into our games for a recent season and it's the same process. We play a game, I review the game 
and then I work with James, and then we then we create a review, go back to our match review before a training session. But I think what's what's key are these two red boxes here, because there are tools that we use to actually analyse everything and provide footage. So everything we do is on TV. All the players have access. The players review, the coaches review, I review, and then go full circle to the match review, then training session, and it's just constantly going over. Um, last year, we put absolutely every single piece of rugby, speed, everything you can imagine on TPE, and there was a huge amount of resource there. This year, what we're doing is we're actually breaking it down. So the way we work, we have different phases, so we have an attack phase and defence phase. So this year, everything we've got on TV is a lot more concentrated. So instead of having a 10 minute video of a training session, we pick out two or three minutes that we think show some very good discussion points around attack, which is our attack phase, or defensive is our defense phase, and then we're actually putting that on TV. So now the conversations <coughs> comparisons of last year are a lot more concentrated. And instead of just broad comments about the session, we're actually talking about specific moments in the session. Should we go over our, as I said, our tools? Because I think it's really important to understand how we work. Um, we've got two main tools, as I said, my team performance exchange and our next board and even our viewer. And that is all provided by a company called Analysis Pro. Um, I first came across Analysis Pro when I was at university. Um, actually, I had an internship and then university at a later date. And the tools that they provide, relatively speaking, in the analysis world, I think Josh would agree with me that in terms of the software that's available, NatSport and TPE is relatively new. And he's actually, oh, oh, last year I would have said it's up and coming, this year now I have to say that it's there, and it's actually probably one of the world leading tools in, in analysis software. Uh, my TV is the online platform. Uh, next sport is the actual analysis software that I have and the coaches have. So things that we can do with uh, my TV, uh, we upload, as I said, we upload all of our footage, we review the players. We then have different uh, features on there, like the calendar. We can schedule all training so the players can keep track of their trainings, the games. Um, the communication tools, so actually instead of sending, having an administrator or not administrator, sending out loads and loads of emails week in, week out, you actually have a messaging function, so we can communicate across the whole academy or specific groups at uh, any given time, click the button, so actually that's what our academy process and our communication are not put together. Uh, again, player monitoring, uh, we just in the process of setting up the monitoring of station there, so we can keep track of that, and that then feeds into the hits of our, it's not a function of our objective, it's in the track of everything, we can certainly keep track of what we have there. And for TPE, the absolute selling point for me, as Ian said, we, we see our boys for three hours on Monday night, and then they're gone for a week. Um, the point of the TV is that they're on it all the time. You see some, if you ever see our uh, schools right here, if you ever see tired in the day, they might have been on TV at 3 in the morning. You've certainly seen some night time kind of going on at 3 in the morning. Uh, more worryingly, you will see it throughout the day as well. You're probably on it in your classes. It's uh, um, commented. So that, there's an app you can have on your phone. So just on the home screen, so the people have got to meet the phone up, sitting around for 10 minutes, what can I do? And they'll go on, they'll review their, their individual clips, they'll review the training session. They don't have to be with us, they don't have to be with the company of any coaches on them, they can do that all off their own back. And that's just the impact that's had on the program this year has been huge. Um, last year we introduced the two and we just sort of have to keep reminding them, having been on TPA, having watched it. Lips having commented, each room you meet in, uh, who's, comment, who's, who's watched the game from Saturday, everyone puts their hand up, <coughs> and then say, right, I've got a printed list here of everybody that's actually 
watching it, and then half the hands go down. Um, and it's a real powerful tool for actually to who's watched it, who's commented. Uh, I'll go through TP at the end. I'm actually going to get TP up and show you our site because, as I said, we're, we're completely open uh, and honest about everything we do. So I'm going to get TP up at the end and show you our site and what it looks like. Um, Max or um, I've always used. Some of you might be aware of different software that I've always used. Sports code. They do the game break up. Um, at the start of this year, we decided to change. We decided to jump, jump ship to sports code and actually take the next ball. Um, if we're all like, if we're honest as staff, I think it's completely changed our program in terms of what we can do with it. Um, I actually went to university at Cardiff Met, which is one of the biggest analysis universities probably in the world actually in the country. And, um, you don't actually realise how much things cost when you're at university. If you're in the lab and they've got as many licences as you can have for sports code and they've got everything to a single amount. And it's not until you come to Boston Academy and somebody says to you, right, what do we need for next year? And you write down a list of what you need for next year and they take a look at how much it costs and they say, that's not what you have. So then you have to start thinking. Um, and that's where NAC Sport come in. It's always been in the back of my mind to switch to NAC Sport, but actually this year we've changed and it is fantastic. It's a fraction of the price of Sports Code, um, but actually, in terms of what it does, uh, it matches Sports Code and actually exceeds it. And some of the tools are absolutely fantastic. I think it's worth to put note down that we're pretty much just scratching the surface as our analysis goes through. We are just scratching the surface of NAC Sport. Um, I spoke to Josh um, this morning with a 10 minute conversation and I learned how I can improve that. Um, three little tips that he gave me, and that's going to completely change our program going forward. I think that's really important to, to show that actually our contact with our position is quite a minimal amount of work. It's nothing to do with that sort of thing. Our process and post game, if you want that to be. Of our outputs, uh, we get straight from next ball onto TP. Uh, some really smooth transition in the footage and selecting clips from TP. Um, and actually, the way that you can have sport for a different sports mode, but the things you can do is absolutely fantastic. Uh, I'm just going to show you that sport briefly, and then Josh is going to show you a bit more. And this is how our next sport looks. That's all customised to your school, your club, uh, your academy. Um, a few features here. Uh, this is this is how you live code. So you got your camera set up, your wires. You got a nice power source. You got a lovely roof over your head. Um, you're in you're in analysis heaven there. Uh, you got a nice table and chair. Um, and that's what that's what you use. Uh, sometimes. Definitely with the academy, I'm sure you find the school is that possible. If you're in the middle of a field, you haven't got power, you haven't got the roof, you haven't got any elevation. Um, one of the big features that that's what has helped us with is actually using it without a video source. So the game's going on and you can actually analyse that without having to have a million pound camera plug into your laptop. You can do it all live, which saves three hours plus. Um, Without that, that expenditure of, a, of, of an expensive camera, and then you can put them all together later. Um, then post match, obviously you can you can put stuff together post match, so you get your footage, you get your analysis, and actually you can do it after the game. So if you haven't got the people, the staff in place to do it live, you don't have to do it live. Um, presentations, I've learned two things that's going to change my world from Josh this morning surrounding presentations. Um, this week we put it together for some EAP highlights clips and um, some of our schools may have received them late last night um, and that was all done using our presentation clips and I'll show you how that works later. Um, and my analysis is what houses all of our information, all of our coding.
Uh, so this is this is our home. This is my my best friend at the moment. This is all of our analysis throughout pre-season. Uh, as you can see, you've got every every single game that we play is in one place. It's all housed in in one database, and you can search across that database. You can search for a specific player, a specific incident um, during a time in a game, uh, first half, second half, etc. So that is where we keep absolutely everything. And one of the main things in that one is you don't have to have the videos on you. So once I've got everything on a hard drive, so you don't have to have the computer loaded with 200 gigabytes worth of footage for one year. You actually take it away on a hard drive, everything stays put. As soon as you plug your hard drive back in, it's there to go again. So actually in terms of your storage space on that top, it's a lot easier to use. And you see the different data places we have split down there. So this is all my junior academy games going down into our senior academy games that play in the, the Premiership and that one and everything. Uh, this is how it, this is how next school looks when we're when we're on our timeline feature. Um, so you can see this is all of our codes. We can select a specific instance of game. It's the one against Scarlets um, from pre-season. Uh, our game is broken down into different aspects as directed by James and the coaches um, and that just highlights exactly what they want to see when we set piece, attack, uh, kick in, what territory, what zone we're in. This is what I've said about our presentations. So this is one of our players. As you can see here, we've got um, the Alfie, who's down for lots of, um, you can get to the nice little features like the cover and the title page on it. And actually here is every single thing that Alfred has done throughout pre-season. And that's a list that we keep going throughout the year. So after every game, I've just found out from Josh, I can do it automatically. So I spent all day putting this together yesterday, hours and hours of my time. Josh turns up this morning and says, yeah, you don't have to do that, you can do it automatically. So I said, scratching the surface again, Josh coming up with a little tip. So we have this for every single EAP, so we have this, as you see here, these are all our EAPs, and within here you have a specific list. So every time Jan says, right, I want to see all of the courses, what's the time passes, just a simple button, search it, and I can get Jan to all the time passes, straight away. But on an individual basis, it's a lot better. So this is how my TV looks. This is our, our online platform, this is our hub. This is really what drives our, our analysis. Um, just show you one of the key things that I'm talking about right now. I'm the mouse. Do you want me to have you back, Joe, or are you right? <laughs> <laughs> see the players then go on to discuss 
quite a few clips. And actually the detail of the level that they're putting into their reviews is a lot better now. Before I said before the comments here, actually they're discussing things that we spoke about in the session, the coaches spoke about in the session. is something the players don't know exist. Um, this is our dashboard feature. So this is how I monitor how often we use it. As you can see, pretty much everything we go we do goes in waves. Um, you can see that that is actually throughout pre-season. Uh, that's the spike of pre-season. You can see the terms of high usage will be after a session, after a game. Um, or we can simply break it down so we can see how how many times the coaches are watching it. Uh, not enough, in my opinion. I should probably be on it more, James. Um, how many times they've logged in. James hasn't logged in today. Um, and obviously we break that by the APs, under 18s, under 16s, all the way down. And then we can actually see what they're using it for. So the main feature is the files. They use the file feature a lot to watch the videos. So as I said, to have that away from our program is absolutely essential and key to us now. I think that looking back, that's probably the biggest thing that we've uh, implemented is actually being able to provide analysis provision, not for half an hour on a Monday night in a review. It's actually providing analysis provision to all of our players 24 hours a day, seven days a week, over there with us in the schools or home. And that's huge, that's huge for the boys to have that that learning environment at any, any given time, so jump on that.